Wednesday today and I woke up a little while ago and um, I've got my lemon water, my warm lemon water, which is actually so good. And I woke up this morning and just like tidied up the house because it was a mess. And then I made myself a lemon water and now I'm here ready to do assignments and get this done. But I'm just so sick of this assignment and I'm not even like halfway done. So this is gonna be so much fun. I have work at 2.30 today. So that's another fun thing to deal with. But I'm going to try and smash out as much as I can because I always do my best work pretty much as soon as I wake up. Like if I just wake up, get a drink and start work, I always do so much better than if I um, get ready for the day, like chilling out and make myself a nice breakfast and all that sort of stuff. Like I'll do that later. For now, I'm just going to get into work because then my brain doesn't even have like time to think about it and procrastinate. Like I'm just like here and doing it and that's it. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Guys, I just received my linguistics results from my mid-semester exam. The one that I was like pretty sure I was going to fail. I passed. I passed. I don't know whether to be happy or not because I, I didn't do well. I did really, really badly. But I passed. And I'm just like so like... I just don't know how to feel because I'm someone who likes to do really well. And I, I didn't do well. But like I also don't care that much like I'm like not proud of myself but I'm extremely grateful and thankful that I passed like I don't know how that happened oh my goodness so that's um that's really good I'm really I'm really thankful that I passed but I, I can't be like proud of myself for the mark that I got so little update for you guys I just feel very confused I like don't know whether I should be like celebrating this or not because it's not really like a mark to be celebrated but you do you win some you lose some and this one I kind of won kind of a little bit so <laughs> so I've decided that it's time to make a smoothie and I'm really like scared because I don't ever make smoothies <laughs> I'm trying to like figure out how everything works and I've never used my blender before like I have a blender but I've never used it before and I don't want to read the instructions because I'm stubborn and lazy but it's pretty much the same as a Nutribullet but it's not a Nutribullet so I'm just going to get my cup so I'm going to add some spinach I don't like huge meals so this probably won't be a very big smoothie but I'm gonna add some spinach, some mango, some banana and then some like, juice but I don't really know how much of everything to add. I'm just kind of like going off what looks good. I also froze my bananas like cut them up and froze them so I'm just gonna put a couple of those in there. I feel like this is not gonna work. How do things blend things up because they're so like they're rock solid. Just gonna put some juice in, which is so unhealthy, kind of ruins the whole like deal yo. How much liquid are you supposed to put in? Like, I don't know how this works. What's going on? It looks so boring. It's just like, I don't know. What should I add to my smoothie? You guys let me know what tastes good. I'm not like a huge fan of like berries. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> working <laughs> it's like rock solid i probably didn't add enough liquid oh i can see little chunks of spinach i don't want to eat that i want to kind of see what it tastes like oh my gosh i can see the chunks of spinach though oh i need to blend it more there's so many little chunks of spinach no 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 it looks like snot but it tastes really good I'm extremely happy with my green smoothie. Is this count? Does this count as a green smoothie? Is like every smoothie that's green a green smoothie, or does it have to have some sort of kale or something in it? It's really good. I like it. It's too late. Oh. It's too <laughs> Are you stopped too late, honey. Squad, 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 squad. I don't even like this one. Excuse me. Like she went to like the whole other lane. I'm like, mom, like, what are you doing? You don't understand. <laughs> I mean, I'm that. Skay, you must be really boring. What are you talking about? It's me, you always get this one. You look like a potato. I am a potato. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> no, stop it. Stop. Well, look how far you've come. <laughs> Oh, I still look like a potato! Potato? Are you okay? I like potatoes though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare me! 
think it's hard as enough for me and the potato. <laughs> that one's brown. Oh, I bet it's her skin colour. Oh! Potato? Potato. Georgia. Everyone go and unsubscribe from Rachel Gunther because she's bullying me. Look at that. He sounds thick. Potato. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna get both of these angles and put them next to each other, like in a split screen. <laughs> okay, potato. <laughs> well, you tan, so it's like you. <laughs> Normally, you're a washed potato. <laughs> I'm not racist get though. Some shorts on. <laughs> I am wearing shorts. You know what? Mmm, <laughs> good one. <laughs> what else do we have in here? <laughs> Your bitter chicken. Oh, <laughs> you're nutty. <laughs> it is 2 a.m. and the girls just left, so I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> that is the funniest thing. <laughs> do you know what is cute though? This. Yeah, okay, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. No! no! <laughs> what did you say? I said, I feel like I'm a lobster, so I've got like claws on my feet. Socks and come together. Mm. Yeah, with my koala socks. Koala. And Koalas and pollen. Oh my gosh, O O T D, where is everything from? Okay, this one's from um, Kmart, the men's section, extra small, just in case we want to know. Target. <laughs> This one's Kmart. Traitor. Traitor. This one's Kmart. And this one's Big W. Big so Wobble you. I did, um, I had happy honours, but certain <laughs> people lost them. <laughs> Me and other people. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm not I'm friends in YouTube. <laughs> Good morning guys. It is Friday today and I have like a pretty pretty just like a good day. Um I haven't got like a lot of plans. It's currently 11 a.m. I've been doing uni work all morning and I only have like a tiny bit left of my assignment to finish off, which I'm so excited about. I'm trying to figure out if I want to like complete it today like fully or you guys know that I usually like leave the referencing and like the proofreading until like the day it's due and so I'm considering just doing that and giving myself like a break it's due on sun it's due on Monday oh my gosh it's due on Monday but I also have an exam next week which I want to like start studying for so um I'll probably try and get it done on Sunday because I'm working all day Saturday so I won't have time then but anyway today is Friday so I've got that to finish off and it's like 11 like I said I want to finish that by 12 I think and then I might just chill out and get ready for the day but I'm so extremely excited because well the not so exciting part is I'm going to get my car fixed there's not like a problem with it it's more like they said to me when I went and like got it serviced and checked out they were like if you don't get this thing fixed up in the next few weeks you may have a problem in the future so I'm getting that thing fixed up so I don't have a problem in the future and so that's happening at 3 30 and at 3 4 40, I have a hair appointment which is like just across the road from the car place so I can just walk over there while my car is getting fixed and um, I'm gonna get my hair cut and something that I kind of am ashamed to admit but that is very um, real in my life is that um, I usually only get a haircut like twice a year which is so bad so 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 bad my hair is like so unhealthy at the ends it is like dead like this is dead and so I'm gonna get a haircut which I usually do around my birthday and then around November but the exciting part is that I th think I'm going to get a lot chopped off not like up here but like this is how long it is now excuse my messy bed but um it's almost oh this is really hard to vlog it's almost down to my bottom it's not quite there but it's almost there so I think I'm gonna get it cut like here or maybe a bit higher maybe a bit lower that's like my thoughts right now but I only decided that like 10 minutes ago and then I thought oh I think I'll vlog this but I may change my mind before 3 40 so we'll just see what happens I finished I finished I finished I finished it is now 11 54 so I finished before 12 which is my goal although it's not like completely done like 100% like everything is written and so I'll go through it 
maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow night or maybe on Sunday or on Monday because I still have like four days to do it but um it's finished like I have written the entire assignment which is so incredibly exciting except when I do go through it I literally have to cut out 127 words because I am 127 words over the word limit, but that's okay. Hey guys, so I feel like you won't be able to hear me and this is really scary. <laughs> I just dropped off my car and so now I'm walking to the hair place and it's like not like too far, but it's a little bit of a walk and I actually had like the nicest time just going for a walk because I never really walk anywhere, which I really should. <laughs> well, this is a bit anticlimactic because as you can see, I still have my hair. Um, I went but they couldn't do my hair today so i am going back in a couple of days or maybe in a couple of weeks whenever i can get in they were like oh you can just come back tomorrow we're free tomorrow and i was like i'm working like all day and they were like oh like well why don't you come like before or after work like we're open all day and i was like i'm working 7 30 to 5 30 and they were like okay never mind and i was like I'll come back another time. But it was still good because I went and got a couple of things from the shops while I was waiting for my car to get fixed. And I met up with my mom and like hung out with her for a bit. So I thought I'd show you what I got from Big W because it is the most boring thing I've ever hauled in my life probably. Because now I spend my money on boring adult things. <laughs> so first things first, I just got some face washes. So when I do like my face masks and stuff, I can like actually wash my face. Then I also got two just like white towels because I have a couple of towels for myself but like if my friends want to come over and have a shower or something then I want to have towels for them to be able to use. Then I also got a microwave plate cover because my mum always used these when um like I was at home and they just like stop everything from splattering out like if you're heating up like a curry or a casserole or something and the juice might like spray up a bit it stops it from getting all over your microwave. And I also got this and this is just a notebook but it's one with little squares on it and i kind of want to do like a bullet journal type of thing i'm gonna just like experiment a little bit but i've just seen so many bullet journals around and i absolutely adore them i think they are so pretty and so cute so i'm gonna see how it goes and then i also got this calligraphy pen because as you guys know, I really like to like write in my Bible and I just really enjoy calligraphy sort of stuff. I don't want to get like too into it because I feel like it's almost like a trend at the moment and I don't want to just pick it up just because it's a trend. But I just really enjoy doing it for myself. And I told my mum that I would make her like a little Bible verse quote thing, I think. But that is my haul from Big W. As I said, it's like the most boring adult haul I think I've ever done. Sometimes you just have to spend your money on necessary items instead of things that you really want. Even though I was really excited about this pen and this notebook, which I'm probably going to sit and play around with for a little while now. And then I'm not sure if I'll film tonight. I was planning on filming tonight, but I'm just like kind of dead. I'll see how I feel a bit later. It's like 7.30 right now. I was just at church doing my little kid's thing and I think I've thought of a video idea which I want to do so I need to write that on my list I have like a huge list of video ideas that I want to do but anyway I'm rambling so I'll talk to you guys later and if I do any bullet journaling I'll update you this is what I came up with for my first attempt at bullet journaling and I'm really happy with it I haven't finished it yet I want to add some like decorative little doodling kind of stuff but yeah that's what I did so far but it's like 10 o'clock now and I have work at 7 30 in the morning so I'll have to wake up at 6 or 5 30 because it takes me so long to get to work but um I'm gonna go to bed and I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow but I'm working literally all day so I'll see how much vlogging I get done tomorrow but goodbye guys